Oh, look at that bag. Go, go. Oh. That's definitely the most good clubs we've seen in the uh, thrift store in a while. Guys, welcome back from a loud and busy Goodwill parking lot. We're up here in Jacksonville, Florida, gonna do some thrifting for golf clubs. Yeah, we normally find really good stuff when we're up here. Yeah, we usually find some good stuff. We'll meet you inside. Goodwill, number one. All right, let's take a look at what we got. We got this awesome uh, surfboard skimmer thing. That might be fun. Might be a broken leg or two. <laughs> oh, let's see, you find something? Yeah. Oh, nice, a Cleveland high board. What flex is this? Regular flex. That's one of my favorite Cleveland drivers of all uh -huh. time. That and the uh, the original launcher 460 with the gold shaft. That's definitely a good find. Let's see if they have anything else good in here. Got some uh, Callaway X14 uh, clones. Oh, it's a master fit. There's a master fit center around here. Driving range thing. Oh, Adams tight lies. It's uh, pretty sweet. Five hybrid. And oh, I think it was a full set. This is the uh, Adams tight lies, and then it's like the hybrid irons. Oh, that's pretty cool. Eh. We'll leave these here for somebody else. These are actually really good uh, starter clubs, mm -hmm. but Cleveland High Board, definitely a uh, good find. Ashley, starting us off right. All right, first Goodwill is definitely a success. We got another one right here. You think it's gonna be as good? Hopefully. All right, let's take a look at what they got. Got them in a dark corner over here. Let's see if we can't find any. Oh, this is like the smallest one iron you will ever see. That would be a uh, fun challenge. TPS, I think it's power built. You find some? Oh, look at that bag. It's a tailor made. Oh, it's got a stand too. Cool. I think we can put some uh, like backpack straps on there. You've been a looking for a, yeah, you've been looking for a Sunday bag replacement. That's the pretty cool. That's old school. The canvas. Yeah, the I, didn't we just buy a, a shirt with the old TaylorMade logo on there? Yeah, we did. Yeah, on Mercari. It was only like ten bucks. I couldn't pass it up. See how much they're getting for the bag. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was three ninety nine for the bag, but it was forty percent off. So we got that thing for two fifty. That's Crazy. a hard deal to beat. The next thrift store is the uh, literally called the thrift store. Yeah, the <laughs> thrift store. It's kind of chaotic and hectic to film in there, yeah. but it's always worth it. Man, our car definitely needs a uh, car wash. The sand's been blowing North with that. Eastern's been blowing sand everywhere. Yeah, we'll get that done. But next thrift store is the thrift store. Yep. Always chaotic always worth it. This is definitely the least amount of people I've ever seen in here and the music's not as loud and I already see a bunch of good stuff so this is gonna be a fun one. Got a Callaway uh, Steelhead Plus, got a Hawkeye VFT. Ashley has found the Adams uh, Super S. Actually I uh, used to use this three wood, the men's version of it. This is the ladies. Yeah, that's why I assume Yeah, Lady them. Flex Adams and there are a bunch of other good stuff in here. Got a full set of these LPGA clubs. We got a Callaway Big Bertha Warbird three wood. Got a KZG five wood, one of my favorite component brands. The uh, KZG ZO uh, blades, those things are absolutely amazing. Got a couple of uh, Callaway Big Bertha drivers back there. What else we got? Tommy Armor Hybrid, the old Spalding. There's a couple other ones I saw in here that were good. Got another Callaway Big Bertha. <laughs> it's like the fifth one in here already. Got a full set of these Tommy Armor Silver Scott 845s. Oh, here we go. These uh, Ben Hogan, Big Ben. Aldi Law NV shaft. You guys know I'm a huge fan yeah. of Hogan and Aldi Law NV shafts. They got the five wood too. Definitely gonna pick that up. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet grip. Let's see if they got anything else hidden in here. That's definitely the most good clubs we've seen in the uh, thrift store in a while. What else do we got? We got a McGregor Turney. If these were the 1025 CBs, those would be in the bag. Oh, they've got like almost a full set of these. These came out almost the same time as the 1025, which are some of my favorite irons of all time. McGregor tourneys. I really like that logo. Yeah, the uh, the old school tourney logo. Yeah. I think they have a full set of men's and ladies uh, Tommy Armour ones. <laughs> Peerless clubs. We'll let you know if we find anything else in here. I'm sure it's getting boring me just saying every single club that's in here, but there's so many good ones. So oh, here we go. got a uh, Callaway Hawkeye six iron. As I say that, I'm still gonna show you everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ended up getting those Ben Hogan woods and I couldn't pass them up. It was a three through pitchy wedge set of the McGregor tourneys. Some of the uh, softest forgings, if they are anything like the 1025s. I've never actually hit these ones, yeah. so I'm excited to try them out, but uh, still got a couple more thrift stores. And I'm gonna pop into that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll go pop into that one, see if they have any golf clubs. That one's way nearer. They don't usually get as much stuff, yeah. so we'll see. Got two thrift stores in the same parking lot. Can't beat that. No, you can't. <laughs> 
right, definitely a productive day so far. I think all we need is a putter and a sand wedge and we'd have a complete set. So hopefully this next Goodwill has one of those. All right, looks like we got a ton of clubs to choose from. We might as well make this a little challenge. All we need is a putter and the wedge like Ashley was saying. So there's definitely a bunch in here to choose from. I got a Tailor bag. Oh yeah, that's like the uh, cart size of the uh, old school Tailor made bag that we uh, just bought. <laughs> nice. Oh, speaking of just buying, we got a uh, full set of these yeah. uh, Hogan Edge. We've bought those, what is it, like two weeks ago or something uh -huh. like that? That was a whole video. We got a ton of clubs in here. We got a Harvey Pennick Take Dead Aim. Oh, nice. We got a Callaway Diablo Edge. Oh. What is this, five iron? That's pretty cool. If they had a full set of those, that would definitely be a good find. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just a good find by itself, but let's see if they've got anything else in here for us. Oh, nice. We got a four iron of the, uh, the Diablo Edge. So we got the four and the five iron. This could be one of our uh, best uh, days ever if we find a full. Oh, sweet. A Taylor Made 300 Tour three wood. That was one I always wanted to uh, play in high school. That and the V Steel are some of my favorites. Let's see if we can't find the rest of those uh, Callaway Diablos, though. This has turned out to be a pretty dang good day. Oh, here's a wedge we can definitely use. This looks pretty sweet. Is this a scratch wedge? No, I thought it was scratch. Diamond Tour. It'll do for our challenge. See Isn't if we find a legal one. No, no, it's just a regular one. I thought it was a scratch wedge. All right, guys, made it out to the course. We should have a little bit of daylight left. We're going to play a four hole challenge, but that was an epic yes. day of thrifting for golf clubs. We put it together a little combo set of everything that we found. Ashley and I are going to play alternate shot four hole challenge. What are we, uh, what are we winning today? Or what are we playing for? Pizza for dinner tonight. Pizza. Oh, sweet. Pizza dinner night. <laughs> I like those. So uh, the goal is, as always, if we can shoot even par or better. It's going to be tricky, though, because we got different clubs and we're playing alternate shots. So. Also, spoiler alert, I'm just ordering pizza anyway. So. Sweet. Pizza night no matter what. <laughs> awesome. All right. 300 yards. I'm going with driver. I realized we didn't have any long tees, so I just hit three wood off the deck. That Ben Hogan one actually ended up pretty good. We got a big kick off of that hill, but we've got a little chippy nine iron left for Ashley. Well, that should be good. I think the pin's in the back. They've already taken the flags out. <laughs> All right, I thought I hit that shot pretty good, but I did not leave John with the easiest of putts. So hopefully he can get this one fairly close and I could tap it in. Anything within five feet to tap in for the world's <laughs> greatest putter, but let's see if I can't do that. Cool. Uphill, breaking to the left. I think that's just over five feet, but I've got confidence in here, breaking a little bit to the right. <laughs> Dog bark right in the middle of the swing. No All right, problem. so you hit that one. So I'm up next. The next hole is uh, 180 yards. I'm going to six iron. Hopefully the pin is in the front. I tried to play a little bit of a knockdown because we were dead into the wind. This could be good if the pin's in the front, so I have no idea. Yeah. Well, it's a mystery when they take out the pins. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun too. You just have to aim towards the middle of the green, but we'll see where we're at. Oh, I can already see it. There's the ball. Oh, we only got like a 10 feet. Yeah, I got lucky because the last hole was in the back and then usually it's a uh, back middle front, so I had to go back to the front. But Ashley's got about a 15 footer for birdie. That's what we like to hear. Yep. Go, go. Oh, what? How did that bounce out? You could almost hear that hit the cup. Oh, the fringes. Eh, whatever, you gotta play it as it. Actually, there's usually, uh, whatever. Can you just hit the next one with the drive though? <laughs> no, you gotta hit, we got a par five. Ashley's up with driver. That's a familiar spot. I tried to hit a big slice around those trees. I kind of just like, topped it but it ended up working yeah. out pretty good we got about 160 yards left so if we stay left of the water we should be good try and get it up and down for par and then ashley's famous bunker hole coming up next maybe we'll get it done today that's gonna that's perfect depending on where the flag is all right i'm standing kind of behind the hole it's getting very dark though so i can't really see anything so hopefully john gets this close Oh, that's looking pretty good. Ah, that's a long putt, but should be makeable from there. Eh. We can always make a birdie on Ashley's sandbox hole. <laughs> All right, Ashley's infamous bunker hole. Let's see if she can't get it done today with the Cleveland high bore. It's getting pretty dark out. Hopefully we can see this. Oh, that's crushed, but a little bit too far to the right. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. We found some light over here. We actually couldn't find Ashley's no. ball. It didn't make it over the bunker, but it was definitely pretty close. So uh, 
Actually, now that I think about it, the lights behind us, we're going to be like... Really creepy. Yeah, we, you're not going to be able to see us, but uh, hopefully you guys like this yeah, video. Yeah, that was a really fun day of thrifting. We had fun playing golf, but that was speed golf for sure. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of my junior days trying to get as many holes in mm -hmm. after school as possible. So definitely had some fun. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. We're still going to get pizza regardless. Yeah, we're still going to get pizza. We're all winners here, right? <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>